Unit 1, Digital Citizenship. The learning goals for this lesson are to describe what it means to be a digital citizen and be able to identify and describe the six P's of digital citizenship. So what is digital citizenship? Well, digital citizenship refers to the responsible use of technology by anyone who uses computers, the internet, and digital devices to engage with others. There are many components of digital citizenship, one of which is digital communications. And digital communications pertains to properly exchanging information using tools such as email and cell phones, web pages, instant messaging, and social media. Another component of digital citizenship includes digital literacy. And digital literacy is about learning the basics of using technology, whether it be computers, tablets, cell phones, and also learning how to find information on a specific topic on the internet using search engines and keywords to be able to find what you need. It also includes evaluating online resources to make sure they are truthful and accurate. Remember, everything you see online is not true or correct. Then we have digital etiquette, also known as netiquette. Using technology in a way that does not affect others negatively. Netiquette also includes using technology only when it is appropriate and also respecting others online by not posting information that is hurtful or untrue. Another component of digital literacy includes digital law. Digital law has to do with understanding how to use and share music, photos, and movies legally. It also includes respecting the privacy of other people you encounter online. It includes recognizing the importance of passwords and cybersecurity. And last but not least, avoiding plagiarism of other people's work. And you're saying plagiarism what is plagiarism? Well, plagiarism is the act of taking someone else's work and passing it off as your own. Plagiarism is considered to be academic dishonesty. You can avoid plagiarism by not copy pasting text from online articles or web pages, citing the sources of all information you have gathered, and always use your own words and ideas, not ones you've taken from other people. Now we come to the six P's of digital citizenship. Profile, privacy, positive, professional, permission, and permanence. P number one, profile. What does your personal profile say about you? Make sure you have an appropriate online profile. Ask yourself, what can people see about me online? And think about, does your profile give out too much information? If it does, then change it. P number two, privacy. Make sure to keep all personal information private. This includes passwords and personal details about you, such as your address, your phone number, your full name, and so on. P number three is positive. 
We like staying positive. Make sure you have a positive digital presence. Ask yourself, is what I am posting helpful and encouraging to others? Be sure to avoid posting or contributing to negative comments and treat everyone with respect. P number four, permission. This is a big one. Ask yourself, do I have permission to view or share this content online? Always make sure that you have permission to use material that you are posting or sharing online. You should not post anyone's photo on social media or online without their permission. Our next P is professional. P number five, professional. Ask yourself, is what you are viewing or sharing online professional? Ask yourself, is the picture I am posting something I want the rest of the world to see? The next P is permanent. Everything you post online is permanent and cannot be deleted. Now, I know in your mind you're thinking, what? What do you mean permanent? It's never deleted? But, but if I post something online and then delete it, doesn't it go away? Not at all. Once something is put on the World Wide Web, the internet, it will always be there. You can delete it from your page, but it is still available online for others to see. Think before you post. Very important. So, good digital citizens always think before they post online. T, is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspirational? N, is it necessary? And K, is it kind? <laughs>